friends! Today we're going to be working on building planners. So today's video is a planner video and if that doesn't interest you feel free to exit stage left and or right. Whichever one is which. I don't know. Anyway, if you do not already know, I am a happy planner girl through and through. I love happy planner. I love all of the things. I wish they did more things sold individually, like monthly dividers and things of that nature, but we're just living with what we're living with. And because of that, and because I plan weirdly, we are going to be tearing apart many things and rebuilding many things to get my perfect planners for 2022. Now there will be a video later in Advent where I'm actually going to walk you through the planners themselves. This video is mostly going to be me talking about like what I'm doing to create the planners that I'm creating rather than a walkthrough of them. Um, I am waiting on a few more materials to get here as far as dividers for my reading planner but I have the bulk of my reading planner planned out and my writing planner is planned and I had my catch-all planner figured out but I hate it so um <laughs> I have a lot of work to do on that um so we're gonna kind of go through that as well and uh just kind of show you like what what I'm pulling from other parts to make the part that I want I did do some of this the other night during um, a live show that Beautifully Bookish Bethany did um, where she was working on her planner systems for the year. Um, but we'll talk about the things that I did and, and all of that. So if you're ready to plan with me, let's go. Okay, so as I said in the starter clip, I have already been working on this a little bit uh, and getting rid of some of the things from last year and moving things around. So. Today I'm just going to walk you through kind of the process of what I'm doing because there's a lot going on here kids and we will at a later date actually do a full flip through so you can see all the things but this is my normal like my catch-all planner you guys have seen this a bajillion times before I'm sure and right now there's very little in it because it mostly just has we're being attacked by a Merlin Hello, Merlin. Can I help you, ma'am? Um, because I only have December in here. And uh, then I did start to put in the next planner. Uh, but there's a lot of work for this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, all of the work for the new planner, yeah? Okay, so for my planner for next year. I got this golden coil planner. Um, I think I already threw the coil away because I don't see it on my desk anywhere. Anyway, this was a ring bound planner at some point. This was so graciously, wonderfully gifted to me by the beautiful, wonderful, lovely Wally Simo. Um, we were on a writing retreat and, um, a thing I learned while I was trying to set up the planner for this year is that I am I have been spoiled by happy planner and ring bound planners just really don't work for me anymore. Um, so I decided I was just gonna pull the ring out and put some discs on it. And you can see on here where I attempted originally to just like cut out the little tabs and use those, um, but that didn't work. So I went back to my regular cover. What I also then tried was um, so these tabs are just a smidge off for every other one fitting the discs for the planner system so what I ended up doing was a, <laughs> a very lengthy process that will involve me um, cutting off this side with the with the little square holes, which I have already started doing. Um, but yes, cutting off the square hole part and then re-hole punching 
with the disc punch in my from the Happy Planner, which I which I own a disc punch. Oh wait, I found it. The coil, I found it. I found her. Um, yeah, so this was originally the coil. But yeah, so uh, I pulled these off, chopped them with scissors. I have a straight edge. I don't know why I didn't use it. Like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like one of the slide cutter things. I have one of those. Why didn't I use it? I don't know. You tell me, we'll both know. But as you can tell, this was a very chunky planner, so I have a lot more to do. Um, and you don't need to see all that, so that's going to be part of something that we see at a later date um, on our walkthrough. But that is basically how I'm setting this up. I am going through chopping off these little boxes and then repunching for the happy planner and then putting it into this planner. So that's my catch-all, my everyday, my like YouTube. Uh, as you can see, I was already kind of setting it up for my planner and, and there's like goal pages and stuff in here and newsletter pages because I was going to start a newsletter for the new year. Am I still going to do that? I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll walk through that at a later date. Okay, next is my writing planner. So last year I used these purple discs for my writing planner and I love them. They're so pretty. So I decided I wanted to use them again. Um, this is just a notebook cover that I got for a Happy Notes. Um, last year's planner was also floral. So this is last year's writing planner, also floral. It looked amazing with these purple discs. I really loved it. Um, there's still some 2021 stuff in here. Uh, but basically, um, I didn't use this very much this year, if I'm being completely honest. It pretty much got used during nano months and that's it. The only reason why I decided to continue doing a writer plan writing planner this year is because I already had these pages. I purchased an 18 month planner last year in July for my reading planner and it's not working as my reading planner but it is the same setup that I use for my writing planner. So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and give it one more shot. Since 2022 was like the year of finishing book projects, I was like, sure, let's do it. So um, basically these, which I mean, we'll talk about it more in like the final flip through, um, but this is the Happy Planner monthly layout. So each month has a calendar page and then a page of like goals and lists and checkpoints and things like that and then there is like a task list every day of like there's enough for six bullet points for every day of like a to-do list uh for the month which i don't really use other than to track sprints um like how long i sprinted and what my word count was i also have been known to use this as like writing down every chapter that I'm rewriting and then checking off the chapter as I finish it. Um, so there are a few different ways that I've used these in the past that do work when I actually use the planner, um, but not been great at that. So that is what I will be using for the writing planner this year. Um, there wasn't really much set up to this other than um, pulling last year's planner off of the purple discs because I wanted to use the purple discs. Um, putting all of last year's planner onto these extra gold discs that I have. Uh, yes, I own far too many happy planners and have far too much stuff, um, obviously. Uh, so there was that. And then putting on this new cover from the happy notes and then transferring over all of next year of this planner that was on... I don't know, some other, it might've been on these discs. They might've just swapped, I'm not sure. And then pulling over um, like my trackers and things that are actually relevant still to um, what we're doing. Oh, look at this, look at this, watch this. The Anka's Curse is currently in revisions. I've never moved anything into revisions before, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um. Roxy's still in first draft stage. Daniela is also still in first draft stage. And Warriors is being replotted. Uh, so I have something in revisions. Look at that. 
I love this writing dashboard. It would be awesome if I used it more often and actually had things to use it for. Uh, so there's that. That is the writing planner. What this video was really for mostly was the reading planner, so let's talk about that. If you've been here before, you have seen this cover before. This is my reading planner, and it will be changing quite a lot for next year. These are the current guts of the reading planner. Um, so basically I have a reading log at the beginning where I list every book that I read, the author, and the rating, and I changed color for the months. For some reason I only did them on the front of pages and not on the back sides. So then I had to use the back sides for something else because I felt wasteful. Um, so I have like the TBR takedown on this page. I really like this chart. I'll probably make this chart again. Um, and then I have like a list of DNFs and unhauls. I will probably do that maybe again in a list form, but these will not be in list form again next year. These will be different. My arc tracker, I'm probably just gonna move over into the next planner because I have so many of these that were like, these are, a lot of these are releases for next year, so I haven't actually got to them yet. Um, so that will probably just move over. Um, and then just like some basic things. I already moved over, this section was my Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge. Because the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge is continuing into 2022, I've already moved it over into the new planner. And then these were my monthly. Um, this is how I was setting them up at the beginning of the year, just like bullet journal style with a TBR, any notes, any new releases, and my hauled books for the month. Um, and I was going through and like putting in the little book cover and then like a full review. I'm here to tell you, I kept up with this for a few months. Um, let's see, February. Did I do it in March? I did it in March, April. We did it in April. I did start making the book smaller, the book cover smaller, um, because I felt it was being wasteful of the sticker paper. Um, this is June, so we were still doing it in June. No, that was May. That was May. June, still doing it in June. There we go. July. July is, I think, where it kiltered off. Yeah. Okay, so in July, like I said, I got that other planner that I'm now using for my writing planner um, with, like, all of these different sections, and I was still doing, like, making the pretty shelf TBR and which I might still do I don't know your girl doesn't know um but I separated these out into different sections that I'm very happy with I think this is the first one where I did it yeah so my TBR um books read pages read favorite book like a little stats section which sometimes I use sometimes I didn't um, any books I hauled, any arcs that I had for review, new releases, top priorities, which was here or there. Mostly I was using this to write in any kind of like major boss battles for the write a thon for the Avengers and Ship Reading Challenge or like read a thons. And was still doing these a little bit, but not really. Um, I think that's the last month I did those was August. You can see in September I put the stickers in, but then never filled anything out. And it's because I didn't like this system and that's kind of why I decided that I wasn't going to do that anymore. And it's just progressively gotten less and less useful for me. So, what I have done for next year and what I am currently setting up is skipping that because that's a spoiler for next year. Again, as I said, I've moved my Avengers Reading Challenge stuff over. So this is all of that. There's quite a lot in there. Uh, so what I did was, this is from another thing. I, I'm gonna use this to write in, um, when I finish a book, I wanna tape these two together. Um, but I was using like the full month page layout before to write in the day that I finished a book. I really like the view of just like looking at the entire month and seeing how many days I actually finished books on. It makes me super happy. Um, so that's what I'm gonna use this for. And again, I pulled this out of another planner that I didn't need it for. And then, let's see, this is this month. She's still here, she's still living her best life. Um, and then, so this will be January. I did purchase, and they're not here yet, and they probably won't be here 
in time for like the final flip through. Um, but I did purchase some dividers on Etsy that are just like a monthly divider that have the tab on the side of the month. Um, Cause I can't live my life without monthly tabs. That's a large reason why I uncoiled my golden coil planner. I can't do it. I need a monthly tab. I can't, I need to be, I switch flip through months so quickly. I need them or I can't function. Um, so those are on the way, but I got these papers, which are um, just a happy planner note page. They look like this before you finagle with them. Um, it's for their daily planner. So it has like today's date, your top priorities, a list of checklists for today, um, focus on reminders and then these two are smaller boxes down here. And so what I'm gonna do for January is I put January up here and I'm gonna use this the same as that two page spread from before um, where I had my TBR, new releases, arcs, book haul, priorities, which again will be like if there's a readathon or something that I'm doing. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do up here. Um, probably put, I don't know, a decorative sticker. Who knows, not me. On the back side of this and then any subsequent, if I need more space, I'll just put in, I have a lot of dot grid pages, um, so I would just put those in. Um, I'm going to combine my list at the beginning of last year's book where I listed out book title, author, and my rating, and also where I was printing out the sticker covers. And so I'm just gonna put the sticker cover on here and then write my rating. And that's all that there's gonna be. I'm not gonna write like the review part because I already write a review on Goodreads and I don't need a review in two places. It's just, it's silly. I don't know why I do it. It's cause I'm crazy. Um, I do like to do like multiple page spreads for readathons that I do and the disc system allows me to do that. Like I said, I have dot grid paper, I have other paper that I can use. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about that. But I think that these are really gonna work for me um, for like the monthly layout. Will it work? I don't know for sure, but we're gonna give it a shot for a few months. So I'm basically just gonna set up the first like three months with this sheet and kind of just let it roll and see what happens. Um, I'm gonna stick a few extra pages in here. I'm gonna do a few things. Mostly what I need to set up for, for next year is going to be like my yearly goals, um, which as you can see in here, I've got my 2022 anticipated releases start ready to go. This, this thing that I have stuck in the front of this book for several years, and I still continue to like try to do all of the things. Um, this needs to be my life motto, but it's not, and it should be. So that is kind of where I'm at with all these planners, what I'm doing, how I'm going to be setting things up. Again, there will be a video next week on like a walkthrough of me actually having them finished and you seeing what they look like. Um, but this is just your idea of like how I'm setting everything up, what I'm doing. Um, I've had to pull a lot of things. I think every single one that I've done so far has had to be pulled off of discs and then put back onto discs. It's been a great time. Um, I'm losing my mind, but I'll be okay. With that, I return you to my face. All right, that's it. That's all I've got. Um, as I said, I will be doing a video next week on like the actual full planner flip through on each planner so that you can see what ends up happening when I'm actually finished with all of these things and I actually have like my goals and things set up, I will have all of that done for you, um, for you to look through um, if you need any of that information moving forward. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, including the remainder of Advent, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.